And I'm going to share with you a story of financial brands. Uh, in 1991, before most of you were born, I joined an agency called Ogilvy & Mesa, which you may have heard of. It was and yet remains the largest advertising agency in the country. And uh, I set up what was then called a financial practice for them. Uh, no one had heard of financial brands at that time. No one knew what's a financial practice because at that time the order of the day were IPOs of public issues. So there used to be daily advertisements of public issues, big, big ads with such small text. No one read it, no one remembered it, but they were advertising and spending a lot of money. So I remember one evening a WPP person, WPP you know is Sir Martin Sorrell's company, the largest advertising and marketing company in the world. One of them came and met me and said, is ye tum kya logo bolte ho financial brand? Ye financial brands kya hai? Now 1991 is when people asked, what are financial brands? And since then all of you know that financial brands is one of the largest spending categories in the country. And today the fact that we are here at the Pitch BFSI Marketing Summit and Awards, the first of its kind, is a recognition for where financial brands have come over the years. My embarrassment is that I'm talking to practitioners of financial brands. I'm talking to believers. I'm talking to people who build financial brands. This is all of you. So I thought, let me just talk to you in your language. In the financial services advertising, you know, you have to have an asterisk, right? Any of you who have not had an asterisk, I'd love to meet you after this meeting, but all our ads have to have asterisks, risk factors. So therefore, the risk factor for all of you is that this is only my story, it's only my observation, it's my experience, my learnings, which could, and I'm sure, be very different from yours, but I'd love to hear yours as much as today I'm happy to share mine.